good day everyone uh, this is kuneet and uh, today we have a very good news to share with all of you uh, this is regarding a collaboration that we act medigens have now officially have with titan physiotherapy center in nigeria which is based out of abuja um so i have today with me uh, dr vijita with us who is the director of uh, tele rehabilitation and neuro rehabilitation services at medigens and i have dr chemaka with me who's the head um uh, at titan physiotherapy center so we just we are glad to announce this collaboration and this collaboration with the help of this collaboration we are pretty sure that we will be able to uh, provide access to remote rehabilitation services to people all across nigeria and we are really very happy about that and this um this um uh, uh, session that we are doing today is to is to you know brief you about what kind of collaboration it is what kind of services to expect and how do we plan to uh, you know reach out to people of nigeria who are, who may be based out of any any uh, corner of the country and how we intend to assist them when it comes to neuro rehabilitation services so thank you so much dr vijita and dr chemaka uh, so dr vijita first of all i'll ask you that you know what's what is this collaboration about and what do we intend to do with it well thank you gunneet for the introduction so uh, this collaboration uh, is between two pioneers who are providing quality and affordable healthcare across the globe uh, medigens as a company it is a temo certified healthcare organization which has been in operation since 2016 and uh, along with our other verticals we have a strong platform of tele rehabilitation through which we deliver uh, neuro rehabilitation uh, programs or rehab programs for patients suffering from uh, stroke from parkinsons or after brain and spinal cord injury through our robust in house platform uh, we have been uh, delivering this program for the past decade and uh, uh, it has it has been quite efficient in making pa patients with uh, neurological disorders gain their functional independence and uh, return to community living after after such a debilitating disease and uh, so uh, this collaboration would obviously help us to reach more patients who are uh, located in remote areas of nigeria and uh, through dr chiamaka we would be able to help more people suffering from such neurological diseases perfect thank you so much for sharing your thoughts now coming coming to you uh, dr chamaka how do you think that this collaboration is going to benefit people of nigeria and uh, what was what's the current situation over there and how do we intend to improve it with the help of this collaboration okay so um what this um collaboration with medigens is going to do for nigeria is that it's going to give us access to um it's going to give access to rehabilitation service to a wider range of people now currently in nigeria we have a problem with access to physiotherapy services rehabilitation services basically we a lot of areas a lot of states don't even have physiotherapists on staff in their state hospitals and the people that have they don't have a rehabilitation team what we have presently in nigeria physiotherapists just very barely reaching 70% of the population not to talk about other members of the rehabilitation team so with this collaboration it's going to give nigerians a access to a full rehabilitation team um quality services internationally trained um medics and all that and it's going to uh, enable us reach to these barely reached areas so what it means is that you can stay wherever you are in abuja lagos even in the abroad and you can book rehabilitation service for your loved ones in the um lesser reached areas in the rural areas in the um, smaller communities and they have access to rehabilitation what it also means is that neurological conditions things like stroke parkinsons now doesn't limit your function you can get them back to full function hopefully this is what we hope to bring to nigeria sure sure and uh, i'm pretty sure that you know this collaboration is going to be a win win for the clinical team as well as people of nigeria because people of nigeria will finally be able to access um you know access the expertise that's lacking maybe in the remote regions or maybe they do not have any access to any kind of rehabilitation or sometimes they don't even know that you know they are suffering from a condition and they, there's no proper diagnosis and the clinical team with this with, with this collaboration the clinical team will be able to you know provide 
the expertise that they already cross possess so uh, my next question would be um, uh, you know what what all conditions dr vijitha do you think that can be um, uh, can be taken care of through neuro rehabilitation and uh, possibly if you can dr chimaka expand on uh, what kind of conditions are present over there that can be you know that people of nigeria will be open to or maybe they look forward to receiving rehabilitation for uh so uh, neurological conditions such as stroke uh, parkinsons or brain and spinal cord injury they limit the functional uh, activities of daily living in a person so and the the best part is that these treatments do not require any uh, any uh, sophisticated equipment to be treated for for the for the treatment to be delivered so it would be very easy for our experts here to deliver this program through our platform to the patients there with the help of uh, any attendant or dr chiyama uh, dr chiyamaka's uh, team there so uh, uh, these are the areas which we would be focusing and our rehabilitation protocols include every uh, every aspect of uh, rehab that is physical therapy speech therapy cognitive and behavioral therapy occupational therapy diet and nutrition management so it was it would be a complete holistic approach would which would be given to uh, patients uh, suffering from such neurological disorders um, um what do you what do you think that you know uh, what are the certain conditions that nigerians will finally be access neuro rehabilitation for through this collaboration okay um thank you very much um so right now we have a, what i think one of the members of rehab team that the nigerians are going to be so happy to get on board is the speech rehabilitation aspect now this is an area that is largely lacking in nigeria the only places you can find speech rehabilitation uh, speech therapies are lagos portacourt and abuja presently so in places like anambra state enugu imo on those areas like that they don't even have a single speech therapist so in states like anambra state presently there's no single speech therapist we've had um, a lot of clients coming with speech therapy after speech problems after neurological issues and there's no one to refer them to you have to refer them out of state and this is becoming a problem now because telemedicine is not something that is widely acceptable or even something that we have the framework to deliver in nigeria it's difficult to say okay let's consult over the phone and see what it is to do. So what this collaboration basically is going to do is that it's giving us access to these professions, professionals that we don't have, and it's going to help make the rehabilitation process a bit more holistic or holistic in the real sense of it. Even down to, apart from neurological conditions, we have children with speech therapy issues that would benefit from access, having access to a speech therapist. These are things that we've not been able to deliver to them in the past. So this collaboration opens Nigerians up to so much more opportunities. Thank you so much for answering that. Uh, and I'm, I'm, you know, um, as an organization, Medigens wants to make global healthcare accessible to people. But when it comes to accessibility, um, it also means that you know people have people people have to understand what does it exactly. exactly mean and what kind of services are available that they can you know they can have access to from the comfort of their homes and neuro rehabilitation is one thing so anybody looking at this session later on may think that you know what exactly is remote neuro rehabilitation how does it work out so you know uh, what what i want to ask here is just to clarify for the people that most of them have a myth that neuro rehabilitation cannot be performed remotely so you need someone to touch you you need to be physically present for the assessment so what do you you know what 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 exactly does do both of you think that um, you know whether it can be delivered remotely how successful it is and what what would be your message for such people who think that you know it's something something completely new and cannot be done uh so basically neurological rehabilitation is uh, different from orthopedic rehabilitation uh, in orthopedic rehabilitation you are treating uh, uh, symptoms which is causing you some kind of trouble for a period of time but in case of neurological rehabilitation the central nervous system is involved which basically compromises the uh, functional abilities of the patient so so if you if you just think it in terms of layman in layman terms it is uh, it is very 
it is very obvious that any kind of functionality in a person can only come back if he or she uses that part on his own if 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 for example if the right right limb function right hand is not functioning properly then uh, the patient has to use uh, his right hand to get the functionality back basically we treat the non use syndrome i'm not using any technical terms here but this is this is very general terms that after a neurological disorder we treat the non use syndrome the 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 physical abilities of the patient basically is compromised because of non use there are there is signal the signals from the brain to the spinal cord is compromised so however uh, the more the patient uses his functional abilities through the exercises that we offer through our uh, program the more the patient would be getting better now uh, the coming to the second part that this is not effective uh, when the, the we will not be customizing the uh, subjecting the patients to any kind of uh, generalized exercise each and every protocol would be customized according to the patient's condition at that point of time so uh, and there would be no uh recorded pre recorded videos which would be given to the patient to be performed there would be experts who would be delivering the session or or performing those exercises here at the center or at dr chiamaka center and they would be uh, doing the same protocol at at their home with the help of the attendants or dr chiamaka's uh, team members so uh, the so uh, the 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 delivery would be complete the de delivery would not be compromised at any level and uh, as i said because of the customized protocols the patient would benefit completely with the program thank you so much dr jamaka would you like to add something to it that you know um um uh, providing neuro rehabilitation remotely is often considered as something you know that people are not aware of what kind of services they have access to so what do you think about that okay um thank you um one thing a problem we have in nigeria is that we have a myth that rehabilitation services always involves massage people touching you pressing you that that's the way that there's a common misconception that anything neurological has to do with blood flow issue that the blood is not flowing to the um to the region well so they want um someone to touch you this is what has made traditional bone setters and quacks very popular in nigeria because when you offer people that um someone is going to come into your home and massage your father and the parkinson disease is going to go away it's going to stop shaking people are quick to take it up so one thing um that one thing that neuro rehabilitation is one thing neuro rehabilitation is not neuro rehabilitation does not require people to touch you to do this thing if covid has showed us anything covid showed us that healthcare can be delivered via virtu virtually healthcare can be delivered remotely so we hope that in addition to bringing this into nigeria this should prove to people that some of these things is going to go a long way to breaking the myths we have around the neurological conditions and hopefully this is going to make healthcare so much better in nigeria that's true that's true and that uh, that's especially true when people do not have an immediate access to something that's not available within their vicinity so more or less you know they have to rely on such kind of services that they have easy access to and a quick access to as well so um, uh, coming to my next um, a point of discussion so what do you think that a patient would typically need what kind of infrastructure would be required for them to avail um a uh, neuro rehabilitation sessions for any any um, you know any condition be it parkinson's disease or maybe for stroke rehabilitation uh, what do you think what kind of infrastructure or in terms of services will be required by them uh so along with the along with the clinical equipment uh, which dr chiamaka would uh, elaborate i would uh, uh, i would tell you about the technical aspects which are, which would be required for uh, delivering this program basically we require a, a computer setup and uh, with a high speed internet and a space which is equivalent to a small room with a with with preferably a couch present so that uh, the exercises which are demonstrated can be done effectively uh, this is the min bare minimum requirement which is uh, important for delivering the session for people in nigeria and uh, the clinical aspect i think dr chiamaka would be able to Uh, tell better because she would be taking up that uh, responsibility there 
Um, thank you. So, um, in addition to what um, Dr. Brigitte has said, in, um, every other thing that you're going to need for the rehabilitation process is going to be provided and delivered by us to your location. So basically what we require is that the patient has access to internet service, which is something that we have all over Nigeria right now. So once you have access to um, um, internet service, every other thing will be provided to us. It will be sent and delivered to your doorstep. And if um, all the medical records we need you, um, another thing that will require is for you to have your medical records handy so that you can easily upload this to us and we we'll receive it on your end. So after assessing via medical records, video conferencing, and seeing what exactly it is that you need, then every other thing you need for the rehabilitation service is going to be delivered to your doorstep. That's that's really great to know. And that's, uh, in fact, a benefit for people of Nigeria as well. First of all, they are getting access to rehabilitation from the comfort of their homes they do not have to visit in clinics especially if they are living in a remote area uh, and second of all they are getting the basic equipment delivered to them to enable them to receive neuro rehabilitation sessions effectively so that's that's actually uh, very good to know and very informative for people as well it will help them understand that how actually it all works out um uh, my probably um i think the only thing um left for me to discuss is that you know how exactly does monitoring take place when it comes to neuro rehabilitation because when you see a person in clinic it's easier for me for for them to you know have a discussion with the clinician and uh, you know for the clinician to monitor the progress and discuss in person so you know when it comes to neuro rehabilitation how does that follow up mechanism and that kind of monitoring take place because that's one of the most uh, asked questions from the patients and it's you know, if we can discuss a little bit about that, it will be easier for them to understand as well. Uh, so, Guneet, basically, uh, doctor's team there at Nigeria, at Titan Physiotherapy, they would be receiving the patient at first and uh, they would be conducting the initial assessment of the patient either at their home or if they visit the clinic there. Uh, the initial assessment would be conducted and then we would together create a protocol for the patient and uh, explain to the patient how and uh, how the process would go on uh, from there. Now, regarding the monitoring part, they, their team would be present to take up on the cases every single day. And after every two weeks, we would be having a common discussion on the progress of the patient through video consultation. So uh, this is the method we, which, which we would use to track the monitor, track the progress of the uh, uh, patient's in, uh, recovery journey. Okay, and uh, any any uh, any any feedback from you, Dr. Pshiamaka, about monitoring the progress of the patient? Um, yes, I had something to add. Um, so, in uh, after the initial assessment, before your rehab, rehab um, plans are set out. One thing we are going to do for the patient is that we are going to set out a go set our patient's goal, individual patient goal. So how we are going to monitor progress is, have we met the certain goals that you set for the listing? We basically rob, run a patient-centered approach here. So what we do is that according to the goals you want to meet, do you want to be able to walk your child down the aisle? Do you want to be able to go to church or for Christmas Day? These are goals that we are going to do. So progress is going to be monitored on, have we met your goals? So that is what we are going to focus on here at Titan. So both we have video conferencing, and when you need us to come in, you can either visit the clinic again, or we can come into your home and see one more how progress you've made. So it's not as if we're going to set you up for rehabilitation and abandon you. No, we are going to always be present at any point you need us. Right. Thank you so much. And in fact, you know, uh, it's it's very important to make a note of the progression as well, so that the plan that was set initially, the goals that were set initially, so that you know the clinical team can also see whether there is any requirement for any modifications, any new exercises to be added, any approach to be changed, or maybe if we need to alter the duration of the plan as well. Since since the team will be offering customized plan. Uh, which is which is going to be as per the expected outcomes of the patient and not time based. So it's very important um, to to have that follow up mechanism, which I'm pretty sure that both of you have already come up with the uh, entire execution plan regarding follow up mechanism and how you know it's it's going to work out. So um, um, maybe you know uh, any any last words from both of you about people of Nigeria how you know how they can you know now they have access to. Uh, remote healthcare, especially neuro rehabilitation. So, your last it's words crazy, on crazy. 
you may want to inform people so i think uh, this this would be a great opportunity for uh, people who have suffered debilitating disease and they they feel that they have no uh they, they they feel that they will be in that crippled condition for a lifetime so this this brings a great hope this collaboration brings a great hope for those patients and we assure you that uh, together we will uh, uh, achieve more and uh, deliver more so sure. dr jamaka okay um what my last words are going to be that this collaboration is going to be amazing for nigerians we've had we know what our problems are we know we have poor access to healthcare. we know we have brain drain which is taking the best minds out of nigeria so what this is going to do is that we are going to we are giving nigerians access to a bigger rehabilitation team with international standards evidence-based management it's going to be awesome so this what it also means is that even you in the diaspora you can book rehabilitation sessions for your loved ones back here in nigeria that have issues and we are going to be delivering international standards to them so i think this is an amazing thing for nigerians in general and i can't wait for you people to see all we have in, set in store for you well, very well said and thank you so much to both of you and i hope i really really hope that you know both the organization both medicines as well as titan physiotherapy are able to realize their vision of reaching out to people who are in dire need of such services and uh, we continue to make the difference in 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 the in the healthcare sphere so thank you so much again both of you and we'll collaborate again very soon for a next session uh, to continue this discussion as well thank, thank you. you so much Bonnie. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.